So this was, uh, I think, Friday. It was pretty windy that day, and I was talking to Jamie, and he, he was questioned if I should be out. And I probably shouldn't. It was, it was pretty windy. And I uh, got pushed around quite a bit. But once again, I uh, was out there trying to practice uh, doing some uh, circles around the field and also some figure eights. Mostly the figure eights, because from what everything I've read, they say if you can do figure eights, it uh, helps you from getting uh, dependent upon turning only in one direction. It makes you uh, uh, a little bit better pilot. And uh, so here's a, a second one here. Not sure what I'm doing here. I'm trying to follow a really teeny weeny little monitor here. But I guess still trying to make my circles and everything else like that. Sometimes I do a little bit better job than, than other times. And let's see, I gotta get a little bit closer to this monitor so I can see what's going on. So my plan was to try to be as uh, a little bit lower to the ground. This one I didn't, uh, didn't work out too well. I was getting pushed around by the uh, wind quite a bit. Probably should just pack things up and uh, come on home because it turned out uh, ended up hitting the ground really hard one time and uh, it pretty much knocked the motor or stripped the uh, bolts out of the motor, uh, which weren't very long. I mean, these are like extremely small bolts, and uh, <laughs> I like to kid about it being basically uh, not much bigger than a hair length and diameter. It's just really, really small. They are bigger than that, it just seems really small. But uh, they only protrude up through the uh, base uh, just a teeny weeny bit, so any uh, shock to it just tears it off. And uh, once you strip those threads and that plastic there, that solid it road, you gotta put a different motor on, which is what I ended up doing. But anyway, I was uh, practicing, trying to stay a little bit more close to the grounds if I could. And sometimes I do okay, and other times uh, as I come around I don't quite uh, do things right. I start concentrating on something and I start gaining altitude but trying to keep this as consistent as I could on just doing some loops around it and I'm doing better than I did the first day out there and still I've, I've learned that uh, you know when you're going slower it's it's uh, more yaw and less row and when you're going faster it's more roll and yes less yaw so like right here I just completely you know, skate around with the yaw more than I did with uh, roll, and sometimes I'm not applying enough roll, so when I come out, I just end up skidding through the turn, and uh, I always think about it afterwards, it just I don't think about it as I'm doing it, so got a little high on this one here, and, uh, but, you know, as they say, you just keep trying each day and uh, try to do a little bit better. And sometimes I'll have an idea of what I want to do, and I just can't get it to work. Some either my yaw or my pitch isn't quite right. Like right here, I'm, you know, my yaw isn't right there. And it's not that I'm being overly critical. It's just you know I'm I'm trying to learn how to do it. I've never flown a fixed wing plane, so I've nearly never really you know messed with yaw and roll. Never even played any video games really. So I. Don't even have that to uh, to go on. Cause a lot of kids who've uh, who do pretty good at this, they you know they started off on uh, you know some of these little simulators that are out there, or some of these games that are like fighter pilot games, and they've already already have a pretty good idea how to do it. It's just you know they got to refine it for FPV as compared to games. But uh, I don't even have that. And here I was trying to practice uh, doing a little bit uh, softer landing there. And I did, didn't do too bad. I need to learn to do a little bit better than that even to get uh, much slower. Because, uh, like I said, this thing is not very durable. And that's one of the things that came out in some of the reviews that this particular uh, FPV drone is not very durable. They could have done a better job. It's just, you know, it's cheap. I got it cheap because I knew I'd probably tear it up. But uh, at any rate... But that was a little bit better of a turn there. Uh, <laughs> Got to get the roll right there. So uh, sometimes I'm just doing loops around it. Sometimes it's obvious because of the fact that I couldn't pull out quite right. And other times it's just, you know, I was just making a complete lap around the, the field. 
but I am going faster than I was before, and that's probably not good. I, you know, that shows I'm a little bit overconfident. I don't need to be doing that. And there, my yaw was completely messed up, so I had to pull out of it and go all the way around rather than uh, swing through and do a figure eight. But you know, live and learn. <laughs> And let's see here. Uh, you know, in some of them I, I do a little bit better. I think this one was one where I actually had, did a halfway tight turn around it. And that's more what I want to be able to do consistently. But I just don't have the experience set to be able to do it. It'll come in time. I didn't learn how to drive a car in one day. I shouldn't expect to learn how to do this in one day. And that wasn't too terribly bad other than then I skidded through it again. It's a lot of fun to do. Like I said it's very challenging. <laughs> it, uh, uh, you know, for a 66 year old dude like me, it's uh, is all I could do to keep up with this, like drinking from a fire hose. But uh, I'll just keep working through it and see what happens here. And I found out really the uh, stuff on on my um, PC. Ooh, that one I just about clipped the top of the deal there. Luckily, I. Uh, bailed out of that one. I need to start learning to do that more bailing out. But anyway, as I was going to say, I, it doesn't really help me a whole lot on my simulator. My PC is so slow that uh, it's basically telling me that, hey, you know, you're, you're not this bad. It's just your PC is so slow it can't keep up with the movement, so you're getting negative results from it. But, you know, uh, right now I'm not going to dump any money onto a, in my PC right now. I've got other things to do. But, uh, you know, this was, uh, what, uh, Sunday, yeah, yesterday that I was doing this after I had fixed my drone, repaired, the, put a new motor on it. And I will say, you know, doing stuff like this, you definitely learn to, uh, <laughs> how to, uh, work on your drone. Kind of like ham radio, you know, some ops say, you know, you shouldn't, you're not a real ham if you didn't start off on CW or putting your own radio together. And definitely, there's, just, there's definitely the group that, you know, and rightfully so to a certain extent, say, hey, you know, um, you know, you're, if you get these bind and flies, you're not really learning, you know, how to work on them and stuff. So I don't mind spending the time doing this. It's, you know, to me, it's not frustrating. It's just learning how the parts all go together. I've basically taken this thing mostly apart. And that one here is the end. Bye bye. Oh no, I did. I did make that one. I, there's there's one where I don't make it. I got a little bit too high and didn't pull out that one. Actually, I made it. Uh, uh, I I should have bailed out of that one, but uh, 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 luck was with me that time. Uh, I can't say that for all the rest of it. Boom. There was a crash there. Alrighty. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.